and welcome to my channel. My name is Abdullah Kamil, and I had a request a few days back from one of the viewers asking if we can have the personal budget template in Google Sheets. Now, as everybody knows, the personal budget template that we've designed in the past, it was made on, you know, designed in Excel. Okay, so if you import the file directly to Google Sheet, it will not work. It will, you know, um, it needs some, you know, tweaking and uh, adjusting and replacing some of the time some functions. All right, so I did just that and uh, I fixed all the issues uh, that come with importing, you know, the file to Google Sheets. And this is the final product. And uh, I'll put a link for you uh, if you guys like it and uh, some of you out there that um, you are using who are using uh, Google Sheets uh, can use it all right so I'm gonna give you a quick tour here uh, just to um, give you some idea on the final product all right so if we look at the input sheet so you have the basically the same thing I just added more info to it it's actually look better than before it gives some you know um, description on whatever the table does okay so this is your input table. So you have the date, category, amount, month and year. Month and year are calculations, so do not touch them. Uh, but what you can do when you start using the template, you need to delete all of the contents on these three columns, okay? Um, you can see here that I randomized uh, the dates here uh, by function. And just to kind of randomize the data every time so you can see uh, I used it to to test you know the template just to see if there's something wrong with it okay so um, the overall numbers here this is basically gives you an idea of your starting balance and the other stuff like total income and expenses and the current balance all right and this table the next one here is a new one um, this is for use with the dsum functions which we use to calculate income year to date okay um, in the Excel template, uh, we could do that by just, you know, creating a, you know, array formula, let's say. Um, in the Google Sheet, you need to do it with a dsum function. Okay, um, the next table here, so th this table is basically a filter, and try not to change it unless you know what you're doing with the function, otherwise, you know, the income year-to-date will be, you know, um, different than the real one um, and then you have the next table here as before you have the expenses for this month and you have the expenses year to date and the income year to date and this is where we use the filter that I talked about and we're using the dsum function as you can see here okay and um, the next table is as before so basically it shows you uh, the total expenses and income for each month of the current year and finally here um, in terms of you know um, kind of the data that we prep for the dashboard you have the previous year's expenses and previous year's income now these two values are used you know to calculate um, the inputs for the waterfall chart so you have the year start balance and the year start balance if you click on the number here you can see and I use name ranges to kind of give you a meaningful name to you know what the functions are so you have the starting balance plus previous year's income minus previous year's expenses. And this is where you get your uh, year start balance. And here is the current year, okay? Income year to date and expenses year to date is basically the same as here. The only difference is the expenses year to date has to be, you know, with a negative sign. Um, this is for the waterfall chart to work correctly, okay? Uh, and then the current balance. So this table is basically for the waterfall chart that you're going to see in the dashboard. So going on to the, uh, moving on to the dashboard, as you can see here, we can zoom out a little bit just to uh, have a better view. Okay, so it's basically as before in the Excel template. It's just we tweaked it a little bit just to you know make it work with Google Sheets. So uh, at the top here, you can get a snapshot, you know, of what is happening in this year's and overall, you know, movement. So you have the income year to date for the current year, which is 2019, and the expenses year to date, would, and the year is calculated automatically. Um, 
2019 and you get the saving this year and the saving this year is basically you know the difference between these two numbers uh, but it's actually calculated in the background somewhere else in the input sheet and you get the current balance um, you know now uh, okay we have the same table as we had before so for each category here you get the year to date amount for each category how much you spent on each of these categories here and you can uh, feel free to change these to you know meet your requirement and when you change these here in the input here you will get the um, you know the drop down menu uh, correctly uh, you know um, viewing your categories that you uh, that you're using and then you get the expenses this month here uh, sorry let's get back to the table and we have the expenses for this month for each category and compare it to the previous month and that gives you kind of you know how much you spent each month on a certain category compared to previous months and that can give you you know some sort of a kind of a target um, for your savings okay and then the income you have two incomes here that you can use so you have um, income here for income one uh, income two you don't have anything uh, this year um, then here you can get the in, uh, income and the expenses displayed at the same time for each month so you can see here March and April there is no income with it all right and finally here you get the total saving charge this is basically just show you uh, how you started the year how much income you got how much money you have spent and then how much you ended up with until this point okay and the last table here you see this is basically give you an overview of the whole year so it's give you all the expenses and income for each month for each category and as you can see here uh, it populates with all the expenses numbers here and you, you can you know uh, get an idea you know month by month okay so this is a quick overview um, I'll leave a link to uh, to you guys um, you know who use Google Sheets you can uh, you can download it and use it with Google Sheets if you see any problem with it just you know give me a shout and I'll, I'll uh, try to fix it as fast as I can um, and that's it um, let me guys you know um, know if if you have any you know uh, questions and more importantly what do you think um, is it good is it is something that people want is it uh, and any ideas also if uh, for improving it okay uh, this is in the end this is a, a live document and we'd like to kind of improve it every time uh, and your input is really important here. Okay, so thank you so much for watching again and um, hope to see you back in another video. Thank you so much.